Hi friends, this is Mary with Sharing Kindergarten. And today we're going to be talking about end of the year scrapbooks, end of the year digital movies, whatever you want to call them, but we're going to be talking about them a little bit different. We're going to talk about and I'm going to show you how you can make a DVD free digital scrapbook. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I already have this video right here on how to make a class movie. I love it. I love making a class movie. But one of the things that I don't love is staying up all night and burning DVD after DVD for my kids. I would love to say that I have 15 kids in my class and it takes me a few hours. The truth is I've got 22. I've got some parents that want more than one copy. It turns into a big fat mess. So instead of staying up all night burning DVDs, I have another solution for you. First of all, let me go back over here. If you don't know how to make a class movie, I have a really easy to watch tutorial on how to do that. So you can go to my blog. Um, as you can see, I just hit the little top scroll thing right there. And I have um, some really things, a really cool little pack that you can use to make your DVD scrapbooks better. And I also have a link right here to a YouTube video on how you can make a digital scrapbook or into your slideshow. Very, very easy. Well, a long time ago, like I said, I used to take this and I used to burn a copy for each child. All right, guys, we got to get smarter here. Can't be doing that forever. So what I'm going to show you to do instead is to use YouTube. Now, I cannot in good faith show you guys my end of the year scrapbook because I would violate my kids' privacy. So I'm going to look down here on my YouTube and I'm just going to pull in my videos. Now, what you would do is you would open up a YouTube absolutely free, doesn't cost you anything. It's good to have for your classroom anyway. You'd go here to upload. You would take your whole DVD that you made using Movie Maker or however you want to make it, and you'd upload it. It can take a while, I'm not going to lie. My class videos are usually an hour long, so it takes a good maybe 10 minutes to load to YouTube. So once it's on YouTube, now you can see that this says public. I'm not going to show you my private ones, but you're going to set your video in settings to private and you want it to be unsearchable. That means that if you go looking for end of the year videos, your video with your kids' pictures and images and names isn't going to show up. So for privacy reasons, that's what you're going to want to do. So I'm just going to hit one of my links that's already there. I'm going to hit pause so you don't hear it all. And when you publish this to YouTube, it's going to give you a YouTube link. You can also go down here to share. And at the bottom, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to give you a bunch of different ways. Yes, it has email out and you can absolutely email this to your parents. But I'm going to show you some other really fun ways that you guys can share this. So here's your YouTube link right here. Here's your YouTube link right here. They're the exact same if you didn't know that. So I'm going to copy them. This just has the YouTube shortener on here. All right, so why do I want you to use a different way? It makes it really easy for parents who you want to get to your video to find it and people who you don't want to get to your video not to. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to Bitly. This is free and you can sign up. Bitly is a URL shortener. So if you notice right here, YouTube shortens it with their shortener, the video up here. Well, Bitly's going to do the same thing, but let me tell you why you're going to want to do that. If you paste that YouTube video in here, very easy, over here you can hit customize. Now you're going to want to name this video. I always put my last name and maybe I'll put end of year. 16, now I know that's not going to work because I used that when I was practicing this a second ago. So I'm going to hit 2016. And then when I hit save, it's going to save that big link into this easy to follow link. So when I send this to parents, I can give them this URL instead of this URL. The odds of them typing either this or this incorrectly are higher than them typing in this incorrectly. Capital and letter cases do matter, so if you want to do it all lowercase to be easy, you could do that as well. All right, also you can come over here and hit copy, and then you can copy that right there. And I like it because it does the little bounce, so I know I have it. So one way you can send this link to your parents. Another way, I have to go back and copy this one. 
so it knows which one I want in all the subdivisions. Another fun way you can do this is you can go to qrstuff.com or any other QR generator you choose and you can go over here to YouTube and you can put your video link in right there. Your QR code is going to pop up over here. I like to look at these two to see which one's easier for my scanning and my kids scanning and I usually pick which one of those two to use. Don't worry about the other differences between it, it won't matter. Hit download and you have made your own QR code. So on Chrome it pops up down there. Guys, I never want you to pay for a URL shortener and I never want you to pay for a QR code. If something pops up, especially on this site that talks about paying $7.99 or another price, at the bottom you can click no thanks. Click no thanks. I've never paid for a QR code. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to slide that QR code over. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to rename. Amos end of year 2016. That way I know what that QR code is for, um, so I can do that. All right, so now I have two options for my parents. Well, actually three. I can email this link out to them, which is fine. So email right here. You can actually, if you want to do this one, you can embed this into like a website, which is how I got this video down here. So if you have a class website, yes, you can easily do that. My school doesn't like for us to load videos on our school website. They think it takes up a lot of their storage and they're worried about security reasons. So they don't happen to like that. Um, you can also go to Bitly. You can shorten the code to something very readable. You can also create a QR code. At your end of the year awards in your little program or in any kind of thank you note you give your parents, you can send them this link in this QR code. And remember, all of that would link back to our, in this case, pretend end of the year scrapbook. And there you go. You can make one scrapbook and not burn copies for every single parent. And you can make a lasting memory that they are going to love. I hope that this was helpful and I hope you don't stay up all night burning DVDs anymore. Have a great night, guys.